Hi and welcome to this tutorial about Simetrans. Today's topic is advanced mail transport. The reason why the mail system is not finished yet is new industry. The reason why new industry have arrived is because of the growth in the national economy, which we also see in growth of the town. It is actually when a town double in size new industry arrive. So town growth is important when it comes to increase the number of industry. To the left we have bigger town which have little problem. To the right we have smaller town which are good example of what happened even with a basic poorly working mail system. London here, for example, we see clearly when mail arrived in London. The same is the true for this town, but even Hepton, which have little problem. If we turn off and only show city grow, we can clearly see when mail arrived in this town. The situation on the mail front are stable, even if the situation are not good. Some town don't experience a good positive effect of mail yet. One of the reasons is that mail don't are delivered as it should be, but the situation are stable. Now when I start doing stuff in the mail system, things will start to happen, because I will bring the system out of its stable situation and into a new, hopefully better stable situation. Hepton don't grow yet, at least not proper growth. One of the reasons is there is plenty of problem in Hepton. But if we go down south, the situation look better in the neighboring town, which actually have get a new city hall, because the town closing in and have now passed 2,000 inhabitants. But now turn on city coverage or rather station coverage. So we see what will happen here. We see that the town have grown so much that the town no longer are fully supported. They need more station. Uh. They always build exactly there you want to have other stuff. They are actually quite good at that, so I think the people who have made the game have realized how too many city planners actually work. Now we wait for the new station to be built. And now we need to update the line. And the most simple way to find the line is to open a station which already have the line. And click on detail. And here you see all line and all vehicle which not have a line assigned to it. Now we have the line. And we should update this. Click on edit and now. We have a copy backward thing in this town. So the most simple way here is simply to remove every station except the first one which are the nation station. Or national station I think the English term 
is. So add new stop or station. Um, hmm. I think we should have a ring solution now. Because they can driving in a loop in the town. So why not? That is probably a better way. Now we have a proper coverage. We have also built station little outside town which allow for growth. Because we see here that the station we have built here not are much use. They prefer to build the town this way and north. So west and north they prefer to build it. But let us now go up to Hepton. Here we have lots of problems. The station are not green here, they are orange. Green means all right, yellow, no traffic or some other problem. For example, there is no line or no vehicle. Red means severe problem. They have stopped collecting mail and passenger. Orange means quite severe problem, but they still collect passenger, but not from the whole coverage area. The setting for the moment is two, one, two. So when a station become orange, they collect male and passenger one step out. So this station, for example, if no, let us take this station, which are on each. This station no longer collect passenger along this line. So when we have several stations which are orange, that means we don't longer have proper coverage of Hepton. So this town need more vehicle, but a few number of extra station, because here is an area which don't have coverage of mail delivery. To fix mail delivery here, we need to move this scrapyard station below ground. That will also eliminate the problem of the queuing area here, which now are in the town instead of outside the town. And now we need to change the line again. Now we should change the station. So we remove this one, add a new piece of road, add passenger and mail to the scrap yard. Let them build the station. We need more station over here, because here is poor coverage. I prefer to have it there, but I cannot place it there, because there is the tunnel. But exactly outside the tunnel could be a place. Now it looks better. Now we have proper coverage of Hepton.
wait for them to build a station. There they have built it. But I wait with the change it of the line because there is more to do. This national station are a big headache. It a lot of mail here and the station is crowded. So we need to do more here. They actually need a complete new station and more efficient line in and out of Hepton. So it is time to take a look on our town because there could be a similar town which don't have working local mail. And that means that mail don't arrive to the national station or are picked up at the national station as it should be. We should now take a look on the this town. So we have moved from this area up to this area. This town how now past 1000 inhabitant and can now support its own mail service. I have also built new station here. So what we should do is to create a new line and simply connect it to the national line. Here we also have a new national station because the town start to grow close to the old station. And this is a new feature you don't have seen before. Because this is an underground station. So now can they not destroy the flow of mail by simply destroying the station when they build the town bigger. I have now created the line, so the line need a vehicle. Previously, the station in this town have been supported by the national line, but no longer now when they have its own line. So the national line should be redesigned. So they don't stop in the local station. So now I simply remove everything which have the city name and save the old station at the starting point. So they only drive between the national station between these two towns. And again to the underground station. And now the national line is finished too. The station in the national network is in Portman. They serve as a buffer and even out the flow of mail in the system. So they need to have quite a lot of storage capacity. This is actually quite small national station. I have built a bigger one. So this have around 700 bags in storage, which they can handle without any problem. That was everything I have to show you. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. In the next episode about Symmetrans, we take a look on the underground station and learn how to build on.